and there we go look at that what's up everybody I'm back and in today's video I'm gonna go over with you guys something that I've been trying to get my hands on for a while and that's a kayak cart I have used carts in the past just anyone that knows me knows that I do it and you know my fishing style is a lot kind of this backwoods type lake or small moving rivers I love getting kind of off the grid type deal if there's a boat dock I'm probably not using it I'm not a big fan of like motor boats and all that I have I've been researching several different carts and in the past I've used the wildy cart when when they were prototyping I got to use some of the early versions of the wildy cart but I looked around at the sea tug the boondocks the wildy you know pretty much a Malone has one I looked at a lot of different carts out there and I really wanted to kind of find a kayak cart that fit my style and then I reached out to several of the manufacturers and believe it or not the first one within the hour to get back with me was a company called Suspense these guys and the guys at Suspens, you know within the hour he asked me he said what style of paddling do you do where do you do it uh, what kind of boats do you do it and then I told him I was like I'll paddle anything from bona fide to crescent to native to like any type of like day touring or sea kayak from time to time and I needed a cart that was more rugged that is not necessarily made for sand but is made for more backwoods trails like this this is my style right here kind of like get your boat take it back walk back maybe a mile <laughs> and in the past I've just been carrying it you know toughing it out and carrying it they suggested the airless this is the airless suspense airless kayak all-terrain cart so this is like a all-terrain type cart just a note this is not made for sand I'm not on beaches much so if you guys want to know if you want to be when I'm hitting sand I'm probably dragging my boat anyway even though the crescent boats don't have a skeg on the back I mean a um, skid plate on the back I'll still drag it in sand you don't need to worry about it in sand but yeah check out this this is compacted so I had it in a, I had it in the back seat of my car look how compacted down it is and one thing I'd found was these wheels like to flop in and out so I just threw a little bungee on it you can see I just threw like a little quick bungee to kind of hold it you can use those wraps but I only had um, those twist ties I think in the future I'm gonna get some twist ties and twist tie it down but look how compact that is that is nice I like that I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you guys and let you see how quickly I can open it up and put it on the boat um, I did do a unboxing and kind of set up earlier just so you know you can go check that out now if you want to see how I got it in the box and all that but right now I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the boat all right let me set it up for you guys so the first thing I'm gonna do is take this little bungee thing off it comes with extra long straps for you guys just so you know for wider You got a knob there. Make sure your straps are out of the way. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. This probably takes around about a minute to two minutes to get this set up. I did tighten that bolt at home. Another knob. And there you go. It's done. You see the kickstand? You got a kickstand right there. There you go. It's ready. Oh yeah, I did knock these down. So I sized these for the crescent right here. You can see these are tethered in. So your little set pins are tethered in. It has a high bunker here to lift up. But look at the size of these wheels on this thing. That's impressive. They give you several little adjustments. I think it's five points of adjustment here for different style boats. I will be trying this on a bona fide boat 
here in a minute. So I do have my bona fide boat here too, because I just wanted to paddle both today. Yeah, I know, call me crazy. Yeah, so you can kind of see what it looks like there. Is that not cool looking? That looks so nice. Oh, I got some pliers that just fell out of my... That spring goes to the kickstand, so this does have a kickstand to keep it in that position. I've seen some other carts out there that didn't have a kickstand or have straps. So I'll show you guys, when you strap this thing down, it's not going anywhere. When I strap this boat down, it's not moving. And the weight limit on this thing, I think, is around about 300 pounds. So 300 pounds of weight limit on this thing gives you you could actually stack two or three boats i've heard stories of people stacking a couple of boats on there so and this you know and it's not that much of a heavy boat but when you're walking you know half mile to a mile it starts to get heavy so yeah i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put it on the cart and i'm gonna strap it down i can kind of show you my setup here this is kind of my basic off the grid type setup paddle a spinning reel a bait caster some water and I've got some tackle that I keep up there. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's put this thing on here and let's see how it works. All right, so because of the size of the, the way the crescent style hull is, I forgot I need to bring these in a little more, so more like a V shape, so that way we hit more. It's not really a pontoon style. perfect so you can see I'm riding right outside the keel line there what I like about these straps let me show you a little technique you want to run through a handle like this if you can if you got handles on your boat run through the handle like that throw that one over There's that one. So I'm going to pull these tight. Pull this one tight. Then take this excess, toss it in there, and there you go. That's completely set up. That was quick. Another thing you have to remember, remember your kickstand. <laughs> to lower the kickstand, you can kind of... There you go, kickstand's disengaged and somebody hit a little chirper at the same time. That's pretty easy now. Now obviously one of the things you can do, you can move it more towards the center and it puts more like a teeter toxin action in it. It'll like balance more. So normally I'd run it here, but I'm just gonna show you guys kind of something quick because I'm doing a lot of like uphill, so it's not that big a deal. I'll run it kind of back here, but Suspends kind of wants you to run it more center. Wow, so that went that went nicely up and over all these tree roots. I am very impressed with this cart stayed in place the whole time look at that very nice i'm going to finish walking on up through here it's like i said it's about a half mile for me to get to my location i'm not going to film the whole way i am going to film and then i'm going to show you guys about how i store it there's two options that i'm going to store it first option is i'm going to collapse it down it only weighs i think it, they said it weighs 17 pounds i'm going to collapse it down slide it in here and bungee it to that the other option is I keep a boat lock with me at all times I can lock it to a tree and just leave it where my put in and take out think about it. a lot of times we use the same put in and take out anyway I usually walk really far into a, like a, a lake or, or river I'll put in at one spot and if I'm not floating a river down to my car today it's a lake so I'm gonna paddle across a lake I'll leave the, the cart locked to a tree and then come back and then unlock it and it's good to go so that way I don't have to carry it around with me. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this now. It's pretty smooth. Oh, this is steep. Look at 
that. All right, so we walked the entire trail. I'm using this back put in back here instead of like the boat dock over in there. But check this out. I ended up going, it's probably, you know, I needed to work out anyway. It's like a, maybe a half mile hike around. Look how well that cart held up. It didn't move, stayed in place. I ran the cams through there. I'm gonna show y'all how I break it down and put it in here. And that thing, I went it, I put it through its paces. So, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna break it all down, put it in the boat, and then start my paddle out and have a nice little fishing day. So yeah, let's, uh, let's break it down now. Like I said, what I normally do, I just toss it back in here. So I'm gonna break it down and toss it back in my tank well, and then I'm gonna get out on the water. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I break it down real quick. I'm gonna flip it over like that. Two knobs on the side. I think these are called poly knobs. And one thing you might want to consider is oil these bearings from time to time. Put some oil, some bearing grease or some bearing oil down in these, kind of keep it cleaned up. And from time to time you might want to, and if you use this, you might want to wash it off, clean it up. Don't just use it, especially if you're using it around salt water and throw it, you know, aside. It might start rusting over time. So try to take care of your gear. I try to like, you know, I do my best to take care of my gear, whether it's some See how easy that is to break down. You don't want to lose these. And I can tell you what I did before. What I did before, I took these out, but this time I'm going to leave these in because once you take them out, then you're going to have to resize them for your boat again. So I'm just leaving those in there. And I'm just going to like grab my little bungee here run through it and bungee up my wheel once I broke it all down that's a good thing about the crescent you can take that bungee off pretty easy there's two ways it can rest in there you can rest it going facing like that. You toss your straps up in there. And then I'm gonna put the bungee now that I've got it rested in there, I'm gonna throw the bungee over top of it and I'm good to go. All right guys, you can see what I did here. It's bungeed in right there. I just went ahead and left the, um, the bunkers extended. You can collapse those bunkers down and get it a little smaller and let it set down flush. But this is fine for me. You know, it's not heavy, it's compact. I compact it back here, put the bungee on. And like I said, you could also use this lock that I have there and I could lock it to a tree because I'm coming back at the same spot. Reach out to the guys at Suspend ask them about and they'll answer your questions on what you do for you tell them what type of boat you do what type of fishing what kind of terrain you're going to have it on like i said it is not made for sand so this is made mostly for woodland type environments and around on rocky type environments and this thing is is a beast at going over things i was very impressed they say it can handle v-type hull pontoon style hulls even up to a john boat so you guys leave in the comments below what you think of this car and tell me what car you use and see if this is something that you think you would use on your um your boats i will mount it to a bona fide boat and show you guys how it mounts to a bona fide boat so this is a very premium filling car it feels sturdy i feel like i could take this thing on a 10 mile hike which i might do so stay tuned i might take this on a 10 mile hike someday i'll leave in a link below where you can pick these up i think you guys will really like this card a lot but yeah Leave in the comments below what you think of this car, what, what car you use, and let me know if this is something that you would use on your boat. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get out on the water. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.
yeah let's get this beast out there so you've seen i did a little quick i just did a small adjustment of the, the bunkers under there and that little small amount of adjustment on the bunkers made it where it fits the bona fide it went from crescent to bona fide style hall pretty fast so just with pulling those bunkers in it fits right up under that area right there the ex has a very narrow hull to it but that's holding great right there on that side and on that side and i've got it more in the center so it's like on the teeter-totter right there and that's super easy to kind of like navigate this thing see how i went down that heel so you know it fits bonafide pretty easy so i tried it on the crescent ck1 fits perfect on crescent holes fits really good on bona fide holes can fit in between those pontoons or i feel like i could even move it to the outside and it'll work even better <laughs> 